Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for the next video in this series. In the last video, I showed you the plans on how I plan to, the, the drawings I made to build this shopping mall, okay? And at the end of that video, I showed you this floor piece right here where I had added the sidewalk and I had the floor base. So we had the whole footprint built. Um, since then, I've come in and I've actually added in the back walls to this whole thing and the two end, end walls right here. So those are both done. And they look a little bit different than the drawings. And that's the thing with my drawings. Um, when I do these, everything is subject to change. And usually does in, in one way or another. So it's it's a basically what it, when I draw it up, it's a it's a it's a a plan and, and I, I will change them as it goes. So anyway, this is where I'm at. So we got the walls on and I added these gussets in here to support this back wall. Normally I will build buildings, if I'm going to do stuff like this, I use 60,000 styrene because it's nice and solid, it's thick, it doesn't move around. I don't have any at this time and I didn't want to buy more. So I'm using 40,000. So it's a little bit thinner, so it's a little more flexible and it requires me to use these gussets in here and all they are are triangle pieces that I stuck in there. Let's see how I can you best see that. Like that. And they're glued to the floor and the back wall. And I just spaced them out somewhat evenly. I didn't measure, I just went by eye. And they support this back wall in here quite well. Uh, this, this isn't gonna bend unless I really push on it. Um, the other thing I want to say is you're going to have to be a little patient with videos, uh, the, the video qualities. Uh, I'm down to one camera for the next few videos. Um, my daughter took my above shot camera to Africa with her. So I only have my side view camera which I've now got mounted above. And it's the only camera I have and my whole lighting situation is different. Um, this is the second time I shoot this video because the first one I ran all my lights like I normally do and everything was washed out. You couldn't see anything. So I'm reshooting. So some things that I did for video are already done. Um, what I did want to show you was on the edge of the sidewalk here, I added a curb. And you can kind of see it right along the edge here right along the edge of the sidewalk right here. And this curb is very easy to do. Um, all it is, is I have 40 thousandths thick styrene strips right here. And this is what these look like. So I have 40 by 40 and they're square strips, okay? Which are about like this. And all I did was I cut them to length and I just put them right up against the sidewalk here and glued them in um, right to the edge of the, the sidewalk material. On the ends, the, the two ends as well so that it gives a nice finished look to the whole sidewalk. And, and that, that's all done now so now the sidewalk is finished we're not worrying about now you can see I have some stains and things like that that's all from the glue um, that'll all come off when I get ready for painting and all I'm gonna do with that is to take one of these little green scuff pads and these scuff pads will take the majority of that stuff right off without really losing any of the styrene in there um, I don't want to use sandpaper because it's it's gonna take this and thin this out and I don't really want to do that. Um, so the next thing that we're ready to do, so this is all done here. The only thing left now are the front walls that go around here and then of course the roof. Now for the front walls I cut more styrene and you can kind of see this. So I have the, the front wall 
like this and this wall fits on our building right here okay that goes right there and I the, the reason the sidewalls cut like this because I want the wall to come to this front corner here and I want a little bit of edge of building here but that that may change as well I'm not I don't think I'm real happy with this big upright here the future video um, so anyway this is the front wall for this side and I also have the front wall to this side but I wanted to talk about this little front wall here and what I have let me get my drawing okay so in my drawing here here let me take this one like this what I have you remember this from the last video and this is that front wall and what I did was I cut a piece of styrene and it fits the length of this whole front wall and what I did was I just transferred the marks I transferred the marks uh, from the paper to my styrene okay and these are all the marks that you see go across and and I did that because I wanted I have to have five windows a wall section five windows and then this is a door section and this is a door section so it has to be like this this is one thing I, I won't compromise on because this is the office of Saul, Saul Goodman and there are certain aspects of the front of that building that I really want to put in there so this has to go as it is now this piece here I'm not gonna mess with today um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build the front storefronts in here so let's let's talk about these other storefronts right here all of these and what I have is a piece of styrene here's a short one because I, I've already done a bunch of stuff since I'm refilming I'll show you how I did that so I took a piece of styrene I cut it to the height of the building okay well let's go back a uh, just a small step here these lines here these are the, the the lines for each of the stores so here's a wall that's a wall that's a wall that's a wall so I just extended these lines out to the sidewalk okay one two three and then this fourth one right here now this one I know it's a little short because it's a scrap piece but this is how I'm gonna get how I've gotten to the piece that we're gonna get to so what I did was I came in and I marked off the wall okay there there and so on down the line now that tells me that this is a store wall now I want the spacing between the stores to be a little more than just this line so what I did was I came back here and here now this is the space between the stores and then we go here so I'm using the sidewalk as a measurement and here so that gives me one inch between the stores so now I know where my storefront needs to be my storefront needs to be from this spot here all the way to the end and then from this spot here to this spot is the front of the store that goes there all right if you're following what I'm saying now at this point we'll take the styrene and we'll get out the scale ruler and from our drawings we had, I had said that the windows are going to be eight feet high so then we're going to come into here and go on the eight foot mark and we're going to put a mark right here okay and then we'll put another mark at eight feet right here and then we'll draw a line all the way across like like that 
so now you can see this is how this is starting to come into into shape now and then this line gets continued up like this like this okay and then what we need to do and then I didn't say but there's another mark so as I'm drawing in these lines I'm seeing how I missed one so at the end of the storefront this goes tight to the wall and then we put another mark right here okay and then we line this one straight up like that so now we need to cut out this section and this section and then it continues along down the line of stores so what we're going to end up with after that's done so we're going to end up with something like this okay and these are each of the storefronts that go across so eight foot tall windows go in here like this and it goes right up to the edge like that and that's what we're looking for now I'll do this again but this is the set of storefront windows that we're gonna build so this is the end result of what we're looking at and we got to build one here here and here just like it um, let me get my um, my my glass out and I'll show you how I did this okay so here's my, my gluing glass and what we want to do is start building the section so this we'll do this one right here so going by my diagram on my diagram I have these are I need one storefront two windows a door and two windows that's two windows a door and two windows so that's this one so this one we've built and then we need two with three windows a door three windows so and times two times two so in order to do that so times two these two I know are the same size so we need three windows across a door and then three windows in order to do that this is what I'm going to use and this is 40 thousandths square styrene strip 40 by 40 and it's the same thickness as this so what I'm going to do is we're going to pull out a strip and we're going to we're going to start cutting pieces for this so the first piece I'm going to measure across the top and this has a little curve in it right here so I want to straighten that out everything has to be 90 degree without exception like that okay so this goes in here we'll bring this right across I'm going to take the pencil put a small mark Take my flat blade and then this will fit right in here and we're just a shade over so let's trim that down ah that's right okay and then we'll get the glue now I'm going to do everything on this glass and, and this is because the glue I'm using it's a liquid glue and when I put it on here it's going to go right through the seam and onto the glass below and when we finish putting everything together we're just going to let it dry and then I can pull out my uh, razor blade and I can scrape it right off the glass so let's get this piece glued in So I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm just going to push this right up tight.
So, I'm going to get out my chopper and we're going to set it to cut a whole bunch of these at one time. Now we need to put pieces across. So let's get the first one in and then we'll see how many we need. All right, before I set it, I just want to make sure that these are going to fit. All right, so now we have all of those pieces in. We want to just drop some glue on all of that. Now we need to make our double doors that are in here. All right, so that storefront is done. So now you can see we have two doors, and you, these are double doors as opposed to this one. So the, these doors end up being a little bit bigger altogether, which is fine. I, I think that'll work out just fine. Um, so now we just let that dry, and then I can scrape it off the, the glass here once it dries. All right, so I've scraped it off the uh, the glass and put it out here so you can see it a little bit better. This is the finished storefront and I think it looks pretty good. Um, it just needs a little cleaning. Like I said, you, you can kind of see the flash that gets caught in between the glass, in between the, uh, the glass I glued it on and the plastic. We just need to clean out all of that. Uh, all I'll do is take a little file to it and clean all of that off of there. And that'll be that. And I'm gonna do these off camera. You've seen how I do one, you don't need to see more. Yeah, so, so that's gonna be it. Um, if you're watching me for the first time, um, please subscribe to the channel. Love to have you along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed what you're seeing. Um, if you'd like to see more of my layout and, and what's going on in there, you can visit my website. It's mikestrains.wordpress.com. And there are photos of my layout there, um, some of the other stuff I've done. Um, so, until next time, happy modeling!